Increasing demand for electrical power coupled with deregulation in the electric utility industry has nearly exceeded the capacity of the transmission and distribution infrastructure in the United States today. In some areas, critical limits are repeatedly exceeded, resulting in downed lines and rolling brownouts. Additionally, the electric utility industry has reached a critical stage where agent connectors are beginning to fail in unprecedented numbers. For instance, the power line in this video fell for no apparent reason. This dangerous event was not caused by wind, ice, a storm, a fallen tree, or a vehicle hitting a pole. Automatic splices, while quick and easy to install, a must for storm restoration, are unfortunately prone to a shorter lifespan than some other types of connectors. This is due to a variety of reasons. They are not sealed against contaminants and often are not properly installed. Clampstar offers a solution to this escalating problem, as the following video demonstrates. The following high current test was conducted on a Clampstar CSR0447 connector corrector device. The Clampstar unit is designed and intended to be installed over an existing splice which has been found to be in a deteriorated state but which nonetheless is presently operating and carrying both the present mechanical and electrical current load. However, this test was conducted with no connector in the loop having both ends of the conductor terminated in the Clampstar unit with the Clampstar unit serving as the connector and being subjected to the full electrical current load. The test is being conducted at an ambient temperature of 0 degrees C for maximum effect and all four thermocouples read identical prior to the test being energized. Thermocouples were attached number one to the lip of the Clampstar within approximately 1 16th inch adjacent the conductor entry number two, the center of one body casting on one end, number three, to the center of one rail between the casting portions, and number four, to a central point on the conductor itself. The Clampstar CSR0447 is designed for a maximum conductor of two odd size designation, 133,000 circular mils. The conductor manufacturer's maximum recommended continuous current for two odd aluminum conductor is 286 amps, for AAC type and 276 amps for ACSR type. This test is not conducted to any particular recognized testing standard and is being performed to assure the Clampstar design is sufficient to handle typical overcurrent conditions to which a distribution conductor might be subjected. Limited to the amount of current available with this test equipment and the short loop configuration, the test was initiated at approximately 2400 amps of current which deteriorated to an average of approximately 2,000 amps as the test loop heated accordingly. When the current is switched on to full load, the conductor begins heating rapidly and in a period of only 22 to 26 seconds, it has risen to 162 degrees C. With the center rail thermocouple number three reading only 11 degrees C and the center body thermocouple number two reading only two degrees C, and the entrance lip thermocouple number one reading only 23 degrees C. At the point where the conductor temperature passes through 350 degrees C, the inhibitor at the transformer terminals is just beginning to start smoking. At 49 seconds, the conductor is at 370 degrees C. The thermal stability exhibited by the CC squared inhibitor, also a product of Classic Connectors Inc. used with the Clampstar product, is equally extraordinary. It is interesting to note that the inhibitor at the Clampstar connections is protected and unharmed during the test. As the temperature approaches 600 degrees C, the inhibitor at the transformer terminals begins to run and drip off. At 1 minute and 44 seconds from initiation of current, the conductor is at 613 degrees C and a slight amount of smoke can be seen from the inhibitor which is about 1 inch away from the Clampstar. Conductor strand melting begins at 2 minutes with the conductor thermocouple reading 646 degrees C, the maximum reading as one would expect with the melting point of aluminum being 650 degrees C. The respective thermocouples on the Clampstar with the center rail thermocouple number 3 reading only 29 degrees C and the center body thermocouple number 2 reading only 24 degrees C and the entrance lip thermocouple number one reading only 67 degrees C. As one would expect, as the conductor strands melt, the current source is unable to maintain the current flow. In conclusion, 
This particular clam star sample had previously been subjected to four cyclic thermal tests, 500 cycles at 200 degrees C, conductor temperature, conforming to ANSI C119.4 class AA, followed by 500 cycles at 165 degrees C to IEC 61284, followed by 500 additional cycles at 325 degrees C and followed by another 500 cycles at 390 degrees C for a total of 2,000 cycles. Following this 2,000 amp high current test, the Clampstar unit was found to remain unharmed and is deemed suitable to be used again.